guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look. It's definitely something super different. I usually always do like bright colors and neon things, but I wanted to change it up and do something a little bit more dark and more daring, definitely out of my comfort zone. Um, so I hope you guys like it. I feel really different right now. I feel like I have raccoon eyes because of how dark it is, but I think it looks really, really pretty and it's just like perfect for like a party or if you just want to look like super glam and just, you know, go all out. I feel like this is perfect. The only thing that I'm annoyed about right now is like this part. I don't know if you guys can see, but this part just like won't blend out. Like, I don't know what happened, but it's just like really, really annoying. So that's like the only thing I haven't liked about this look, but everything else was really easy to work with. It was just this eyeliner that was kind of difficult. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And what else? Follow all my social media and let's just get right into this video. Alright, so I'm going to start off by taking the Morphe 35O palette, of course, I'm always using Morphe palettes. I just think they're really amazing and really good quality, and I'm going to mix this dark brown with this light medium toned brown. The dark brown kind of has like a gray undertone, and I'm going to take this on a Morphe crease blending brush, and I'm just going to apply this into my crease. I love this brush because it's like very pointed at the top, so it's perfect if you want to begin making a cut crease because it's already nice and pointed, so it's really going to define your crease so well. As you can see, like my crease is like hella defined and this isn't even like a super pointed like pencil brush. So I really, really love that brush. Then I'm going to go in with the Morphe Copper, Spi Copper Spice palette and I'm going to take this like soft brown at the corner. I don't know why I chose to like use this palette just for that shade. I was going to use another color from that palette, but then I, I ended up not. So I guess I just used that palette for that one light brown shade. And I'm just going to apply this on top of the dark gray color gray brown color that we just applied this is going to act as our transition color i forgot to put that first so that's why i'm applying it now then going in with a pencil brush i'll try to find all the brushes i use and have them linked down below but i'm going to take this pencil brush and go back in with the dark gray brown shade mixed with the light brown shade from the morphe palette and define my crease even more to make sure that the cut crease is going to be really really defined and very harsh and then i'm just going to go in and make sure everything is nice and blended and then I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush and I'm going to go in with the same dark brown gray color. And now I'm going to move over and apply this onto my lid. We were first applying this into the crease only to get it nice and defined and create a nice harsh line. But now we're going to move it on to the outer part of our lid, leaving the half center open. So we can apply like the silver shade there. I wanted to do like a half cut crease and like only do glitter in the inner part of my lid for some reason. I was kind of feeling that vibe. So you just want to leave the inner part of your eye open and just pack on this color. And then with a Sigma crease blending brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges because you want to make sure everything is nice and soft so you don't look like you have raccoon eyes or have like a messy smoky eye. Um, for the lid, I'm going to be going in with this Revlon Color Stray. I don't even remember what this is called. I'll have it linked down below, but it's like a creamy eyeshadow base. This one's like in a silver white shade, and this is going to be so perfect for the Tarte liquid eyeliner that we're going to put on top of it. So I wanted to have this as a base, and we're going to be cutting the inner part of our crease with this. So you want to make sure to be really careful and take your time when doing this, because if you mess up, it's going to really suck. I messed up when I was filming this, and I had to redo this eye because I made my crease a little bit too high up where I drew the line. So you want to be really, really careful and make sure you're making the line as sharp as possible so it looks nice and clean and very, very cut. After you do that, you want to go back in with the gray-brown shade and just make sure that the line is diffused and there's like a nice and soft transition between the silver and the matte brown shades. And that's what I'm doing right now with the pencil brush. For the glitter, I'm going to go in with this Tarte Pro Glitter silver one it's like limited edition but i think it's still available and it's i want to say it's like 12 dollars or something like that it was like on sale when i got it and i checked and i think it's still on sale and i'm going to take like the base side first and i'm going to apply it on top of the revlon color that we use because i just want this literally silver color to be as intense as possible so i'm going to be applying different tones of silvers to make sure it gets like super super intense 
After you let that dry, I'm going to go in with the glitter side. And the glitter was really nice. I mean, this is liquid eyeliner. So it is kind of hard to apply it all over your eyelid. You kind of have to dip into it a couple times. But it's a really, really pretty glitter. And it dried really quickly. And it did not, like, fall all over my face. I was just really pleased with this product. And I feel like it just, it was so beautiful. and looked like I had diamonds on my face. So next I'm going to go take some clear tape because I'm going to do a wing using this Stila Cosmetics Rose Gold Retro Liquid Magnificent, Magnificent Metal Liquid Eyeshadow. I wanted to do gold eyeliner. I don't know why. I was just feeling a little out of my element and wanted to try something different instead of going with black eyeliner. And this was kind of hard to work with because it is an eyeshadow, but I just didn't have gold liquid eyeliner. So I made it work. I just kind of applied like... A thousand layers <laughs> to get it to be like super intense and super pigmented but it was still workable for lashes I'm gonna use the sorry my phone uh, for lashes I'm gonna use the Huddy Beauty Sasha lashes and then I already have my foundation on I use the Maybelline fit me foundation I just do it on off camera because I feel like you guys have seen me do that a thousand times and there's no point of seeing me like apply foundation you know um, I'm gonna go in with the physicians formula butter bronzer and contour my face um, I didn't mention this, but for powder, I was using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It's like the only powder I've been using lately because it does make me stay matte throughout the entire day. For blush, I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush in Rose D'Oro. I love this blush. I feel like it's like my go-to blush anytime I do something really dramatic on the eyes and I just need something natural on the cheeks. It's like my go-to blush. I just love it. It's a really natural color. For highlight, I'm going to take the Anastasia Glow Kit. I'm going to take the color Sunburst and mix it with Dripping in Gold. I don't know why I pointed to that one, which is bubbly. I meant to point at the other one because Dripping in Gold is such a beautiful, true gold color. And I'm obsessed with this highlighting palette. I've been wearing it almost every single day. I don't know why I was like never into this before because I've had it for like a year or so. And I just randomly picked it up and I was like, you know what? I want to play with this palette today. And I'm absolutely obsessed and I think it's like a really amazing highlighting palette. For eyeliner on the lower waterline, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Gel Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to apply that on my waterline and then I'm going to smudge some of that brown gray eyeshadow all over my lower lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't matter, like we just want to smoke it out and make sure the top matches the bottom. For mascara on the lower lashes, I'm going to take the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to take Purple Horseshoe from the Anastasia Moonshot Glow Kit. I just felt like I wanted to add a pop of color to the look. And you know me, I always have to have something neon and electric in my makeup looks or else it's like not me. And I just felt like this like neon electric purple looked really, really pretty with it. And then last but not least for lipstick, I'm just using Kimberly from the Kim and Kylie Collection. Alright guys, so that completes this makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This is definitely something different for me because it's dark colors. And you know me, I'm really into colorful colors and really bright makeup. But I just wanted to do something different because I have been doing so much color lately. So that is why I did something a little bit darker. But I don't know, I feel like I look so different. I feel like I look kind of like a raccoon. But I do love like the silver color and then the purple and the gold and Everything just looks really pretty. I just am like not used to seeing this on my face. So I hope you guys like this. I might change the color because I feel like this is a little bit too orange for it. I might just go with like a true nude or maybe, I don't know, maybe a different color. I'm not really sure yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And also don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not already. And hit the notification button so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.